Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur lightweight bout is for the UK Fighting Championships amateur lightweight title and will consist of five three-minute rounds. Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. He has a mixed martial arts record, six wins, one defeat. He represents 10th Planet Redditch. Ladies and gentlemen, Wes Tully! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist has an amateur record of nine wins, two the Northwest Fight Academy, and he is the reigning, defending, lightweight amateur champion, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Morris! Our referee is Mr. Paul Crossman. Ooh, Dakota, I am looking forward to this fight. Chris Morris, always an entertaining fight. And Wes Tully hasn't appeared on the UK Fighting Championships often, but down south, this kid has a hell of a record and a reputation. This is a great title fight. It's come out strong, first shots look sharp already. Morris holding the center of the cage. Big knee there, Chris with the takedown. And having seen both these young men before, Dakota, I'm going to suggest, just like that, the first fight, we've got a, a grappler versus a little bit more of a striker. I take nothing, I'm not trying to take anything away from Morris's MMA game, but he is more happy to embrace, to embrace the grind. You've got a 10th planet jiu-jitsu man that loves to strike. Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to see opposite styles come together and see how it works, you know. And especially amateur, it's nice to see them put it to the test now to give them that experience when they, uh, they move on to the pro. Yeah, absolutely. I know most athletes would prefer to keep their, you know, an undefeated streak forever. But in the amateur ranks of MMA, this is where you best learn. If you're just fighting people you walk over, you will not get any better. Exactly. And speaking from experience, you know, my amateur fights was the time that I got the most experience and it benefited me so much. So... You know, it's good to see an, an amateur card like this, for sure. What were some of the big things you took away from the amateur career? Because as a striker, I'm not sure there was much that you needed to learn. Yeah, I mean, you take loads from it, you know, just the experience of getting in and getting in the cage and feeling it and, you know, fighting different styles. I felt like it was less pressure as an amateur, you know, when you go on to pro, you can't be giving away these wins. Well, um, right now, speaking about not giving away the wins, Wes Tully under a lot of pressure here, trying to defend with a very, very strong Chris Morris on his back. Chris's wrestling is uh, his next level. We saw him on the last card, you know, his fight was just... He, he seems to have a gas tank, gas tank for days, and just a will that not many, not many teenagers have. I mean, it, there's something quite special about his his mindset. Yeah, for sure. But the same can be said for West Tully, and that's what makes this such an interesting fight. Both equally matched, seven fight record for Morris, an 11 fight record to a bit more experience for for Tully, and but right now. Chris, exactly where he wants to be. He's got the hooks in. Landing heavy shots. Yeah, it's a, just so sticky in that position. A chipping away. Ten, ten seconds left in the round, but a very good, very good opening stanza for the champion. Heavy shots coming in. Big round for Chris to start off. And the thing is, he can maintain that pace for the next four rounds. He just <laughs> keep like the Energizer Bunny keeps going and going and going. And again, for all the praise I can heap on Chris Morris, the same has to be said for the challenger. Yeah. That's a good, good opening round for Chris Morris. Top position, dominant. We'll see if the second round Tully changes anything up. Yeah. I'd love to hear the corners right now, see what they're advising. 
Well, what would your advice be? If you were, let's let's go over to Chris Morris's corner. He had a good first round. W would you be asking him to change anything up, or if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Yeah, exactly that. I would, you know, I'd be telling him to do the exact same takedown straight away. Whereas on the other hand, I'd be telling Wes to keep it to his feet, keep that distance. Now he's had one round to a. Uh, to feel him out and be took down. I think he doesn't want to make the same mistakes this round. Well, I think if it does go to the ground, Tully wants top position. He doesn't want to be working from underneath. Definitely. But every fight starts on its feet, and <laughs> Tully there landing a, a nice left hand. Morris, Chris Morris constantly just dipping a little bit, ducking, making Tully think about the shot. Nice little fake there. Ooh, bit of a slip, got to be careful, ducked under. Uh. Is he going to be able to get underneath those hips? Yes, he does. On to the back again. I think Wes made the mistake of switching off then when Chris slipped a little yeah. bit. You can't switch off like that. Hasn't allowed himself to be dragged down still to the canvas right. yet but shoulders still off in that absolutely and back was against the cage but Morris is going to stay heavy and sticky here and Chris here knows how to save his energy here as well he doesn't waste anything he's going to make going to make Tully work spend more of that energy and just in defending He's trying to push it down on that head, slide the knees out. He's up. But Morris still connected to him. Right knee to the back of the thigh. Is he going to try and drag his man down again? I can't see if Wooly, if Wes, oh, Wooly, geez, you don't <laughs> there. I thought Wes might have been chasing a Kimura grip there, but. His hooks are back in. making Tully carry all of that weight now. Not going to allow himself to slip off to the side, is he? No. Got the arm. Tully wise to that. But, it, I mean, from this position, Morris takes the bag. You can see, took a nice deep breath, can stay composed. No rushing. He's patient. Now going to chip away Try and open up that choke opportunity, you were the thought. Body triangle as well. But another, another good, strong round from the Northwest Fighting Academy prospect here. I know there's potential five, but going into the third, two up. It's just one more fight and one more round you need to win. Chasing the. Just let it go. Ten seconds left, maybe. Just Didn't decided. Want to waste his yeah, energy. yeah I'll just, clever. I'll just chip away. I think it was a great decision from uh, Chris there. That's two, two very strong rounds yeah. for the champ. So now, what are you telling Tully? You're in the corner. What's he? Has he done? Has he done anything wrong, or has he just been? Uh, is it just been Morris has been that little bit better? I mean, I feel like the mistake he made there, he just switched off when Chris slipped, you know. the ref, Until the ref steps in, I, I, you should never switch off, would be my advice. But I feel like he got up a few times then, did a lot better than the first round. So, you know, this third, maybe he'll come out and do what he needs to do. Yes. Yeah, to the feet. It's nice to steal some fight. And it, again, I don't have that mindset. You, someone owns me for six minutes, yeah. you're owning me for the rest of your life. So, but to be able to come back in and reset, a testament to him. Yeah, I mean, he's experienced, Wes, and I'm sure he's been through stuff like this in the gym, you know. This is the stuff you want to be drilling with your partners in the gym, so, you know, he'll be used to this. He'll be ready to go again now. Chris Morris, just a nice deep breath through the nose. It, do it looks like Chris is coming out for the first round. It really does. It's unfair. He looks fresh. We'll see how long it... How long before? Wow, well, so not very long before he decides to shoot. Where's oh. bounce straight up then? Right now, it just seems that Morris has the cheat code for this fight, though. Yeah. It's, 
to me, it's looking very similar to his last. I mean, he's wrestling, it's takedowns, different level. He, he's, uh, uh, but he's, he's mixed it up on the feet. It's just this, I think, is his bread and butter. And yeah. I would have thought, I would have thought Tully perhaps would have wanted to engage in a little bit more of this kind of grappling work being from 10th Planet, but there's a difference between wrestling and jiu-jitsu. Yeah. We're just staying heavy on top here. Lots of pressure. And it's eating the seconds in the round. Although there's not a lot happening, it's not a lot happening with the champion on top, pressuring the challenger down. Right in there. And Chris is corner here as well. Oh, on to the back again. Hooks in again. Body triangle again. Yeah, it does seem like does seem like he's got a got a playbook there somewhere. And again, this is solid, solid work from from Morris. You, you're going to get he's going to get the time in, the rounds in. Sure, he'd like the finish. I'm sure he would, yeah. He's looking very patient, though. You know, he's not smothering his work. He's doing all the right things. On to the back now. Is he going to try and f keep that body trying? I thought he's going to try and flat. Ooh. No, not yet. <laughs> Wes just doesn't know what to do with that body triangle, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah I mean, he, he, he needs to be turning. Putting so that Morris wants, I think, turn to his wrong way. You want to put the foot to the mat, right? To break the body triangle. And yeah. it just allows Morris to pull him back. And again, the shots that Morris is landing, you're not going to finish a fight with them from those pitter patter shots from his back, but he's looking to open up the choke. And if nothing else, in the eyes of the judges, he is staying as busy as he can be. Yeah, I mean, you know, small shots like that as well, when you're trying to work and you're getting hit in the face, it's difficult. Yeah, they're more there just to keep you honest and yeah. stop you from doing anything else. But this really has been wherever, wherever I want the fight to go, Morris has been able to take it. And I think perhaps if I'm in the Northwest Fight Academy corner now, I'm telling him, yeah, look for the finish. Yeah. Look for the finish. Get, getting into the business section now, the championship rounds. So far, our champions have put in two dominant performances. Yeah. Nathan Lambert pitching a shutout in the last one, and right now it looks like young Chris Morris is going to follow suit. Both with great work on the ground as well. Yes, absolutely. I think Lambert, in the last fight, in the interview, said, yeah, if I'm going to keep fighting like this, maybe a bit more cardio, but you just went to, you just went a pro fight. You did 15 minutes. No one's going to ask you to do more until you're looking at the pro championship fights in the bigger leagues, so. See if West Tully now does anything. I'd like to see West, I think now, decide whether or not you're going to go out on your shield and go for it. Yeah. I'd like to I'd like to see him be a bit more aggressive here. And maybe it's not for lack of trying. Morris has just shut him down. No touch of gloves this time. No. And then those straight front teeps up the middle, keeping Morris a little bit more at bay. Oh, heavy shot. Yeah. He's going for the takedown. Well, he landed that, that second one yeah. and then changed levels straight away, so he tried to use the punches to set it up. And Surprising, you know, he had, he had Wes a little bit hurt there. I'm surprised he went for the takedown on that. But, but I, think this is, I think this is where he knows his bread and butter yeah. is. And Not everybody loves, loves the KO as much as... <laughs> But it, I mean, you can't fault the work that Morris has done over the uh, three and a half rounds so far. Workmanlike, aggressive, effective, patient. I mean, the list of adjectives that can describe this performance goes on and on and on. And maybe just for the crowd, you'd like to see him put a little bit of a, a little bit of stank on it. But yeah, why jeopardize a sure thing?
Tommy Dow is just sort of looking to survive. Chris is in a really strong position there. He's got uh, Wes's left leg pinned over to the right, which is he's difficult to get up there. Yeah, it's going to make getting to the hip or using anything to kind of get a base underneath him. But right now, wherever Wes wants to scramble, Chris is just happy to follow. I mean... He's done well to get up there. Or again, if he if he was looking for a reason to capitulate, he's had plenty of them. Like if, if, if he wanted a way out, there's been plenty of opportunity presented to West Tolly, but boy, doesn't certainly isn't going to quit on this. Trying to turn into him. That's, he's so strong and sticky. And it goes back to his bread and butter. Yeah, not happy. That it's not a takedown because his back hasn't hit the kisser. He's going to try to pull out those hips and flatten his man down. And then just good positioning over top. Ten seconds left. And it really is going to come down to three minutes of West Tully fighting for his life if he wants this title. Yeah. And Chris has got the pressure in all the right places there. You know, Wes has not really got anywhere to move, and wherever he does, no, I got, and I, Chris is there back again. And I think, again, unless you've seen West Tully's previous fights, it you have no idea how impressive it is that Chris Morris is doing this. It truly is. This is, I think, one of the toughest tests of Chris's young career. Vice versa, and Chris is one of the toughest tests as Wes has faced. But right now, yeah. it just seems like different levels. Yeah. And I'm not sure I'd have said that before the fight. No. Yeah, I'm not taking anything away from, from Wes Tully. He's, got, he's still there. He's still in. He's got three minutes to make the difference. But it is an impressive performance from young Chris Morris. Yeah, notice he's got Nathan Epps there in his corner. He's a very, very high-level Thai boxer. But Morris is not giving Tully a chance to employ that. No. Again, in terms of game plan, you can't fold it at all. In terms of execution, it's almost flawless. Yeah. I think this cage as well, it's not, it's not the biggest cage, is it? So no. for a wrestler, I mean, it works in their favor, I think. Well, three minutes to separate them. Step in knee from Tully, tries the head kick. But... And I think he's gonna really have to think about going hell for leather. And there it was, he, yeah, he threw a big shot. Morris. Overcommitted a little yeah. bit too much. Chris read it. Ducks under, gets the takedown. Yeah. Backing up to the cage. Again, a little, okay. from Tully, it just shows. Chris straight into a body lock there. But it is like round one, same as round two, same as round three, same as round four. And just no answer. I like the relentlessness of Morris as well. He don't he doesn't take positions and rest. There's no lay and pray. He's constantly making Tully work. Just a testament to Tully's ground defense at the moment that the fight's still going. Yeah. Morris really has fallen fallen in love with that body triangle. And Switched switches it over. <laughs> Feeds the right arm through. See, Tully trying to push that up and over and succeeds. So Morris just chips away again. Morris I mean, just looks so comfortable there on his back. He's just not, yeah. not rushing. He's taking his time. And how frustrating has it got to be if yeah. you're West Tully? I mean, I'll tell you from experience, it's frustrating in that position, it really is. And is there any, right now, there is really nothing 
he's doing wrong. He's he's defending. He's not being submitted. He just can't. Oh dear. He's def but he just can't find a way to get any distance or any offense going. No, I mean he's fighting the hands, which is good, but it's the it's the legs, the body lock he needs to address. But when he does that, Chris is striking. So or or chasing the choke again. It, yeah. It, damned if you do, damned if you don't. But Morris is well on his way to a very clear, very dominant title defense against a top level competitor. Something's going right at Northwest Fight Academy. Uh -huh. 10 seconds left. And it looks to me like we're gonna have our second title defense. Really impressive work from Chris Morris there. Absolutely, I, if this was a video game, that's kind of a perfect win, isn't it? You didn't take any damage, his energy bar is full. Hats off to Wes though, he didn't let him break him, he carried on. Absolutely, and again. Fighting himself out position. Win and learn, right? Exactly, yeah, it's all valuable experience and it's amateur, which is the best time to do this. Amen, sister. Right, let's go and make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes after five hard fought rounds. We go to this judge's scorecard, who have it as a unanimous decision. And still, your lightweight amateur champion.